Hello, pick breakers and cheat punchers. This is Jury Duty Summons, and today I want to show you guys how to download and install custom maps. And uh, you can find quite a few of them over here at the Minecraft forums. And in a section called, let me see here, uh, da -da -da, mapping and modding, and it's going to be under the map section. And uh, this is where everyone loves to show off their maps, and this is where people find custom, uh, like adventure maps and all that kind of good stuff. And so I found one um, that looked interesting called Escape the Office 1.0. And this is not something I've used before. Uh, I haven't even looked at this one before, but it looks like an interesting kind of map. So uh, let's, uh, let's download it and uh, take a look. So if you look at the maps, it's going to have a link. I downloaded the RAR file, and so you click on that, it's going to bring you to a page over at Mediafire. Just go ahead and download that map. Alright, now that we got it downloaded, I uh, I saved it to a folder on my drive, my hard drive, or my desktop, so it would be easy to find. You can stick it anywhere you want. In order to unpack that, you're going to need a program called 7-Zip. I will put a link to 7-Zip in the uh, description bar, and uh, that way you, you guys can use that. There are other programs available like WinRAR, and there's a few others, uh, but I'm going to be doing this demonstration with 7-Zip. Whatever program you use, if it's not 7-Zip, it's going to have a little bit different way of doing it. Um, but I find this to be pretty easy here. So you just right-click on the file, and it's going to say escapetheoffice.rar if you download the same one. It might end in .zip, but it seems that a lot of people like the .rars. I don't know for sure. I think it compresses a little better. So let's uh, let's do it. So we go. Um, first thing you want to do, probably a good idea to scan these. And um, that's just to be sure, because you don't want to don't want to mess with something you found off the internet if you don't know the source really well. And some random forum thread is you know things can happen. So that that tested clean for me. And so I'm doing 7-zip and then extract here. What that's going to do is it's going to take all those files and stick them in the same folder. So ta-da! So inside this RAR was a folder marked Escape the Office. Now if you do extract to Escape the Office, you'll have a folder within a folder. That's okay, it just, um, you have to take that, you have to get rid of the extra folder before you move it over to the, um, to the saves folder. All right, so there's two different ways to find the saves file. Let me pop open Minecraft. Here's the easiest way to find it. I'm going to open up Minecraft here. And I'll log in. And I'll log in. So we'll go to Mods and Texture Packs. And then you'll open Texture Pack Folder. That will pop you up close to where you want to be. You can see where I have some texture packs here and then you want to go up one folder to the .minecraft folder and there is your saves file. Each folder in your saves file is, corresponds to one world. And so all I need to do is drag this folder, not the, not the RAR file, but the, but the folder here, into there. And I'm going to hold down uh, control to copy rather than, than uh, move. All right. So that's there now. You can see that right there at the top. If we go to single player, and there's Escape the Office. And there we go. We're in this custom map. Which. Okay. Um, yeah. The other way of getting to this folder, I want to show you guys a second way of getting there. If for whatever reason things aren't working properly, you can click on Start, and then if you're running Windows 7, you can just type in percent sign app data percent sign and that will bring you to the roaming folder and inside of that folder you'll see minecraft right there all right so yeah and there's that there's that save folder we came to before is there anything else i wanted to talk about hmm nope that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments field, and I'll do my best to answer. Um, otherwise, my next video, I'll show you guys how to package up one of these folders 
and upload it to a place where other people can use it. Thanks. Bye-bye.